Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Welcome to the third video in this series about the Erica Synths and Moritz Klein .edu initiative. Today we're building the envelope generator. This envelope is a pseudo ADSR, like you find on the Mini Moog, for example. That means you get an attack stage and a sustain level, but the decay and release are controlled by a single pot, which for me is absolutely fine. You also get an inverted output, as well as a loop switch, which effectively turns the module into an LFO. As with the other kits, this one comes with a long and detailed manual that actually explains how the circuit works and suggests breadboard experiments and additional mods so you can go really deep and truly learn about electronics. By the way, the full system needs two of these, so be sure to buy two kits, one for the VCA and one for the filter. So let's build it. The kit comes with all of the hardware and electronic components needed, as well as the panel and PCB, the mounting screws and power cable. I like to start by organizing the parts in my work area. Then I start installing components in order of height to make things easier. So starting with the flat mounted resistors, I measure each strip and follow the image in the build guide to place them where they go. Then I do the same for the diodes, minding their polarity. Once they are all plugged in, I proceed to solder them from above. Oops, it seems I forgot to trim the resistor and diode leads. Let's do that now. Next come the IC sockets. I like to put them in place, making sure the byte in the socket lines up with the drawing on the PCB. Then I use the panel to hold them in place as I turn the board around. I then solder just one pin on each socket to keep them in place. Next I plugged in all of the 100 nanofarad bypass capacitors. I found that I could solder these from above as well. When I turned the board around I noticed I never finished soldering the IC sockets, so I did that first, then I trimmed the capacitor leads. Next came the transistor. Make sure to place it as indicated by the drawing on the silk screen. Then plug in the tall white box capacitors and the two electrolytic caps. The electrolytic capacitors are polarized. Make sure to orient them correctly. Now is a good time to plug in the standing resistors. As you follow the manual, bend one lead and plug in each resistor so the resistor body sits on the drawn circle. Solder the exposed leads to keep them in place, then turn the board around to solder the remaining leads Trim and touch up. We're almost there. Use the tabletop to push the IC leads in so they're closer to 90 degree angles. Then plug them into their sockets, making sure the little dot on each IC lines up with the byte on the sockets and silk screen. Now let's install the power header. I use the snake charmer technique to solder the first pin. Then I lay the board down and solder the rest. Now let's install the panel components. First plug in the LED, minding the orientation. Then plug in all of the pots and jacks, as well as the switch. Slip the panel on over the components and tighten some of the nuts to keep it all together. Push the LED through its panel hole and bend the leads to keep it in place. Then turn the board around to solder everything up. That's it! Finish tightening the nuts, clip off the LED leads, give your work a good visual inspection, check the power header for shorts and you're good to go. No calibration required. Remember to build two of these for a complete system. Now let's patch these babies up and see what we can do with them. So this is one way that the complete EDU system can look. Right, I have two VCOs here, the folder, which I still need to calibrate, the sample and hold and noise module, the mixer, the filter, the two envelope generators, the duo VCA and the output mixer and I still have the sequencer outside of the rack. When I use the sequencer, I remove one of the VCOs to make it fit, or I can have the sequencer in a separate case. But anyway, let's uh, get started testing these envelope generators by just making a simple subtractive patch, nice basic mini mode type patch. So the first thing we'll do is connect some waveforms into the mixer over here. So I'm gonna take the pulse from one oscillator and saw from the first one, right here, turn up these volumes. We'll send the output of the mixer into the filter, audio input. The audio output of the filter is going into the first VCA of the dual VCA here. Let me use a longer cable so it's not in the way of the envelope generators. There we go. Now, we need to set up the control path. So one envelope generator is gonna be used for the filter. So that's this one right here. The other envelope generator will be used. Oh, careful, this is the inverted output. We want to start with the normal output. 
normal output of the second envelope generator that's going to be going into the CV input of the VCA right yeah, right that's the inverted output again here we go now we're going to want to split the gate from my Arturia Keystep Pro here I just want to split that gate send it to both envelope generators at once and We'll set channel 1 on the Keystep Pro to sequence so that it'll respond to the keys right here. There you go. And we also want to split the CV pitch output and send it to both of our oscillators, both proactive inputs. Ideally, you would use a buffer mode, but this is going to be good enough. Okay. So already we start hearing something, right? So let's bring up the sustain on the envelope generator that's dedicated to the VCA. There we go. And we want the sustain to be all the way down on the envelope for the filter right now. So that way it can go up and down independently from the VCA. And that makes a nice difference. Now let's just tune these oscillators. Sounds nice already. Here we go. resonance here I need to tune these oscillators a little bit better so if I want I can have a slow Envelope for the filter here instead, so check that out. More pad like, right? About more release as well. I need to let up the release on the VCA envelope too. Always pulse on both of them change the pulse width a little bit about well, one of them be an interval Very cool. Now I can also use one of these envelope generators as an LFO. All I do is remove the gate and put it in cycle mode. And now our filter envelope is cycling. FM here.
It goes to all your raids, see? Cool, kind of an electric Kodo kind of a sound, right? I can do the same with the amplitude envelope, too. Have them both be LFOs at different rhythms. You get an interesting effect that way as well. Interesting polyrhythms. You can control the pitch of the oscillators too. Right, why don't I take the inverted output of one of these envelope generators and stick it into the FM input of one of these guys here? There you go. Now we'll put this back in the mixer. We'll do the same with the other one. Invert it out, put it into the FM and put it this one. Cool, spacey stuff. with modulation too. sounds. Let's trigger these again with the uh, envelope. So that's these two cables here. Turn them back into single. Percussive sounds too. We'll take the white noise here from the sample and hold module. And we'll stick it into the mixer here. And then we'll turn off the other two here. There we go. Nice, nice percussive sounds here.
super cool. Right? You have the pink noise here too, a little chunkier. Let's go back to single. And if we remove all the sources all together and put the resonance on max filter right here. So that's the sine wave from the self-oscillating filter. One envelope generator modulating the VCA, the amplitude, and the other one the pitch. And as, if I, as I bring up the CV level here on the filter, you get that more pronounced pitch envelope. to taste. Wow, this is a super nice kick drum. Love it. Cool, and remember, if you're a deluxe patron, you get these sounds to sample and use in your own music for free. So uh, that's something to think about. I haven't mentioned my Patreon in a long time. Anyway, I think that's it for today. I think this is, uh, we've had a lot of fun with these new envelope generators from the Erica Sins Moritz Klein .edu system. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a lot making this module. And uh, that's it. I'll see you soon. Stay noisy. <laughs>